Hello friends, it's I here, finally doing my Spotify 2021 wrapped, my in-depth analysis of the many songs and genres I went through this year. Um, I'm going to screen record it on my phone and then I'm going to put it in a little box here somewhere so you can see it while I talk and I'm obviously going to have to pause it to like speak. Um, but yeah, here we go. Here's my 2021 Spotify wrapped. Okay, so what's playing now is actually like a cheer song. And the reason why cheer, you'll see, is like a bigger part of my Spotify wrapped is because one of my friend's little sister is a cheerleader. Like she's a competitive cheerleader. And so while her sister was away at college last semester and her parents were busy doing whatever, I'm not putting their business on the streets. Um, I helped her like with her cheerleading stuff. I just really like babysat her. Um, but yeah, the first thing that's playing is a cheer song. <laughs> All right. If 2021 was a movie and you were the main character. Oh, I can't read. If 2020 was a movie, you were the main character. And what's a movie without a soundtrack? <laughs> the opening credit theme is Youth by Verite. Get used to that. I don't want to ruin it, but get used to that. Um, I love this song. I discovered it last December, actually, and I listened to it almost every day for the first six months of the year. Not kidding. In 2021, you did what you had to do. Playing box fan sounds every single night. Completely normal. I didn't actually do that. That's just their little joke thing they put in there. I spent 4,200, 584 minutes listening to Spotify. And that doesn't include me listening to like music videos on my television <laughs> or on YouTube. <laughs> That's more than 90% of the listeners inside of the United States. I don't know if that means I'm depressed or if I just really like music. So Youth by Veritas is playing again. While everyone was figuring out what NFTs were, you had one song on repeat. My top song of the year was Youth by Verite, and I played it a reasonable 154 times, as is my right. I mean, it is my right. That's a third of the year almost. <laughs> All right, so the song I'm playing now is called The Devil by Banks, and I adore her. I, I've, I've never heard a Banks song that I didn't like. It says, but that wasn't the only song in your rotation. My top songs, my number one song was Youth by Verite. <laughs> my number two song was Faded by Verite. My number three song was The Devil by Banks. My number four song was Good For It by Verite. And my number five song was Body in My Bed by Verite. And what's funny about this is that songs one, two, four, and five came out like three years ago and song three came out in July. So take that as you will. All right, the song playing right now is called um, Not So Bad in LA by Ali X, who I also discovered this year. I love her music. You deserve a playlist as long as your skincare routine. That's actually funny because if you know me, I have a very extensive skincare routine. And then there's my um, 2021 song playlist. What's playing now is Kiss Me More, my Doja Cat, who I also fell in love with this year. Um, it says, in a year like 2021, even your music gets a vibe check. Ooh. It's time to unveil my audio aura. I liked this. multi-dimensional mode okay my audio aura is confident and bold i don't totally know what that means but i'm digging it <laughs> get 
could skip this. All right, the song that's playing right now is called Never Enough, also by Ali X. It says, you always understood the assignment, as one does. How well do you know you? Okay, this is a quiz. Um, I think I might have skipped one. Let me go back. I listened to 74 different genres this year. Wow. But we've been, we would have been proud if you would listen, excuse me, exclusively to whale sounds. Whale sounds are cool. Oh yeah. My top genres were dance pop, indie popitism, boy band, pop punk, and modern rock. Dance pop, I can kind of understand. Maybe. Um, n- indie popitism is more so what I think should be number one. Don't know why dance pop was one. Don't know why boy band is number three because I listened to One Direction a whopping total of t- maybe two or three times this year. And most of that was in December. And then pop punk, I, c- I can definitely understand pop punk because that's what my workout playlist mostly consists of is like pop punk music. And then modern rock, that checks out. So it's kind of there, but not there. Indie poptism though makes a lot of sense because I do like a lot of indie pop. That's probably my favorite genre at this age. Yeah. All right, now here's the quiz. How well do I know myself? Let's see. Because the quiz is different every time you watch it. Two truths and a lie. Tap the false statement. Oh, I missed it. (sighs) Okay, I'll redo it. Because I want to play. I won't tap the screen. Tap the false statement. The song you binge listen to was Go Georgia Build Dogs. That's not true. Um, the artist who appeared most in your playlist was Selfregio Frequencies. You binge list, binge listen to Verite most. I would pick that. So the lie was that the artist that appeared most in my playlist was Solfregio healing frequencies, which how I don't understand how that's a lie because I have a sleep slash meditation playlist that is like 20 hours long that is literally just Solfregio healing frequencies. I do have a lot of playlists, but I did not binge Go Georgia Bulldogs. Like ever. I listened to it twice. And I definitely binge listen to, huh, I'm going to check that out. I'm going to check my stats later. Anyway, oh, that says that's the truth. Oh, I clicked it as a lie. What you click, you're supposed to click the lie. Okay, so I, I was right. I did not binge listen to Go Georgia Bulldogs, but it is true. The artist who appeared most in my playlist was Miracle Tones. Wait, I'm confused. That's the same artist. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I might cut this part out. Um, (laughs) There is one podcast. Oh, here's the podcast section. By the way, the song that's playing right now is called Good Woman by Good Woman by Maren Morris, who I absolutely adore. I don't usually listen to country music, but I really like her material. It's very good. Um, I'm not a Casey Musgraves fan. I just don't love the sound of her voice. I tried to listen to her most recent album. I just couldn't get through it. So sorry, Casey Musgraves. Um, my heart belongs to Marin. Anyway, um, there was one podcast that lived in your head rent free all year long. It sounds like a Gen X wrote this, like trying to attract millennials. Something was wrong. Um, that was my top podcast. I listened to 41 episodes for a total of 200 or 1,274 minutes. This was at the beginning of December. Um, when I had finished seasons two and three, but between then and now I have binge listened the entire series. So that I'm up to date now. Um, this podcast is incredible. It's about, um, women telling their stories about being gaslit and, um, just like tricked kind of like something was wrong. Like that inkling you have when a guy is creepy or if like one of your girlfriends is like, t- like a toxic friend. Um, and it's a very, very, very good series. There's like five or six seasons and they update it every Thursday if you want to give it a listen it's from um 
Audio Chuck, and they have a lot of really good podcasts on Audio Chuck. Yes, it's totally normal to consider your favorite podcast host a member of your family. I mean, hey, we spend a lot of time together, don't we? Uh, when it comes to podcast listening, you're actually a bit of a pro. And the song playing in the background is um, Floor by Verite, which is another really good song by her. My top podcast was Something Was Wrong. My number two podcast was Bars Town by Vault Studios. Oh my goodness. Incredible. Um, my number three podcast was The Clearing by Pineapple Street Studios and Gimlet. That's a really good one. It's about um, this girl who finds out that her dad committed these murders and she turns him in like 50 years later. It's very, very interesting. Number four is uh, This Is Actually Happening by Wandry. Wandry is probably my number one favorite podcast catalog. I've never listened to a Wandry podcast I didn't like. They did the original Joe Exotic podcast before Netflix ruined it. Um, and it's really good. I would recommend that before you, um, well, everyone's in the show at this point, but there is a Peacock version that was put into production before the Netflix one even happened. And I'm not plugging this because Kate McKinnon plays Carol Baskin and I'm in love with Kate McKinnon, but I'm sure it'll be really good. And Nat Wolf, is it Nat Wolf? The kid from Naked Brothers Band. He was also in all the John Gruber movies like, um, The Fault in Our Stars and all those books that were turned into movies he's in he's also in the film he plays Travis Maldonado um anyway and my number five podcast was called Counterclock by Audio Chuck that's again a, another really good podcast they go and look at murders from like the 18 1800s from like the 80s and the 90s but yeah those are my top five podcasts I love a good podcast I'm surprised Dateline's not in there I listen to Dateline podcasts pretty much every day um what's another one that's probably it. Those are the ones I listened to most this year. All right, another Verite song. The song that's playing now is called Faded by Verite. I listened to a... <laughs> I can't read. I listened to... Uh, <laughs> my brain just stopped working. I listened to 819 different artists. Wow! Um, but things got pretty serious with this one. Wow, I wonder who it could be. <laughs> Verite. <laughs> My top artist is Verite. I was in the top 0. 0.005 of her listeners. And fun fact about that, um, I got a, is it in here? It's not. I got a signed lyric book from Verite. Um, Yeah. That was my treat to myself. I saw that and I was like, oh yeah, I gotta make it official. So I bought a lyric book um, and it came signed. How cool is that? Okay, I gotta find it. I'll post it on my Instagram. I spent a total of 6,022 minutes with them and I could not get enough of youth. Wow, shock. I love that song. Her album, New Limbs is so good. Um, highly recommend. All right, the song I'm playing right now is called um, Little Things by Ali X. All right, here's my top artists. My number one is Verite, makes sense. My number two is Ali X, makes sense. My number three is Banks, makes sense. My number four is Paramore, makes sense. And my number five is Cherry Music Pro, which also makes sense. The thing about this though, is that Banks has been my number one streamed artist for like four years running. So the fact that she went from number one to number three shocks me, but she hasn't put an album out since 2019, which is fine. She's getting ready to put another one out. So I'm sure she'll be on top next year. But this year I listened to nothing but Verite, Ali X and Paramore. Those were the three people that I listened to most. Um, besides obviously Cherry Music helping my friend's little sister. Um, just babysitting her and making sure she doesn't break her neck or anything. Um, but yeah, this checks out. But I'm surprised that there was no like Doja or Meg in my my Spotify wrapped. Because I listen to them a lot. Especially Meg. Yeah. 
The song that's playing as this ends out is called um, The Devil Wouldn't Recognize You by Madonna. And it is the only song from her Hard Candy album that I have saved. I think it's the only Madonna song I have saved besides Ray of Light and Material Girl, obviously. Um, I heard it on MySpace when I was like 14 was like, I love this song. And I've never not liked it. Side note, Ray of Light. I only know that song because there was like a World Wildlife Fund. They did like a big concert that was in like every con of the world. We were like eight or six. Does anyone else remember that? It was like all on TV and it was for a World Wildlife Fund. And there was a concert in like New York and LA and Johannesburg and like the, the not the Beatles, the Black Eyed Peas were there. That's not a, a fever dream I had. Like that, I kept, I remember hearing watching Madonna perform, and I was like, I like that song. And then I googled it, and there it was. Anyway, here's the end. <laughs> Thank you for making us a regular part of your totally irregular year. Now go forth and proudly share your top tier tastes. I am a little bit of a music snob. That's okay. Um, <laughs> I don't think I had one mainstream artist on there. And then here's just a little. pictures um i will also show my top 21 2021 songs here's my the rest of my top songs after verite and such hit the back by king princess it's power bottom anthem um <laughs> yeah this is, this is what I listen to a lot this year. Me and My Girls by Selena Gomez is actually a hit. Oh, there's another cheer song. Twerculator. Classic. I'm, oh yeah, I'm shocked there was no Miley. Shocked there was no Miley. No Vera Blue. No Likey Lee. Yeah, those are all of them. So yeah, there's my Spotify wrapped. There's definitely some, some artists and some songs missing, but I guess that's the algorithm. Yeah, that's all I got for you today. I hope that you had an interesting year. I hope that you are making it. I'm not, but that's okay. We'll just, we'll just take life as it comes, you know? Just, just as it comes. No worrying, no stressing. Aren't I the pot calling the kettle black? All right, anyway, I'm gonna go. We'll see you guys.